Um, also, so I saw this today and I thought it was interesting. So Ann Pol Coulter shared a story about, I guess there's some event that happened on a campus. It was like an event for a Somali inclusion group or something. So it was like a black affiliate group and they were having a group, a meeting in support of Somali people or what's happening in Somalia, I suppose. But at the event, a fight broke out. Um, and so there's just like these images of black girls fighting each other or black people, I don't know. There's some people at the group who are fighting each other now. Um, I don't, I don't really know. Like when I was on campus, I didn't go to many of the like black groups or whatever. Probably like I probably wouldn't actually encourage it. Mostly because there's no community amongst black people. There's no like accountability. So it's like if you go to the group, it doesn't really feel like it would matter. Like it's not gonna give get you anything. And it doesn't really feel like the people who are there genuinely care about your well being, which is like a problem um it's just it just is it's a problem um okay and then like i think that um it's important to talk about this issue um in a way where like i if i see it i'm not gonna like not say something about it or ignore it which is what most black women are doing, what most black people in the community in general are doing, which is why as a community, it's problematic. Like, um, there's a lot happening in Africa, especially in the poorer parts of Africa. And like a lot of the people who are coming over here from there develop this sense of like entitlement and also this sense of relief in terms of like, they are relieved that like they made it out of that drastic situation but they don't feel any accountability to like make to improve the place that the places that they left i see this a lot amongst like really all of the immigrants of color who come like they come and they flee these like really dangerous places and then like they don't ever feel any responsibility to like fix it now that they have seen a better way and experienced a better way. There's some people who do it where they like send money back and then they like, you know what I mean? And all of that is good, but um, there's also like, um, how do I say? Um, there's a lot of people who don't and just kind of like forget really about that being here and like all, really all of the campus groups and like, like if you have a group of whatever kind of group it is if it's a sorority, a fraternity, a like sports team, a whatever it is as a member of the team like your team is like a, a representative of something like if it's the sport if it's whatever like your the people on the team are representing that brand and um the reason that it's problematic that people and first of all that it happened it sounds like it was it looks like it was a pretty big fight on the campus i mean there's like whole videos and footage and stuff of it happening um on one hand i feel like this behavior is very common like fighting amongst black women is very common it's just I don't know and the, it's it's very strange because I feel like I'm this like new adult in the space um and so I don't know like I don't have a whole bunch of like words technically to like to talk about why other people are fighting or why other people feel anger I just know like why I know why I can talk about why I personally feel anger and like where it comes from and why um but like I do think that in a lot 
uh, there are a lot of black women who haven't had any therapy at all. They haven't had any therapy at all. And conflict resolution isn't really something that's like brought up in the community at all. And also domestic violence at home is completely normalized. And so all of that put together just leads to this like traumatic like experience. And um, that's just not good. And so, you know, watching young black women just be violent toward each other is really sad for me to see that's why I'm making this video about it because like I care like I am you know a a, a young adult African woman you know and I don't want to see that and the people in the group need to be held accountable and responsible for that happening and they should feel some sort of need to talk about why that happened why there was no one there to stop it like where were the adults in the room to like m mediate that behavior? Where were the other women, the other men, the other anybody, basically anybody who was in that group, um, anybody who was there needs to be needs to be held accountable. They need to be responsible for that type of behavior. Like it's unacceptable, and it's actually illegal right like causing physical violence to other people is like not, not it's illegal that, because we have laws in this country so i don't know if you want to be a law abiding citizen obviously like that type of behavior doesn't fly but that's not like new information and also just being silent about it doesn't make you any better it actually just makes you seem like a person who is accepting of this type of behavior because you don't say anything about it. Saying something about it is not you being part of the problem. Like saying something about it is actually you taking the first step to being a part of the solution. And unfortunately, there ain't no black, there's, that's what I mean, there's no black leaders or role models or anything in this community. They don't like, they don't care. Like it's like all the things that happen, like you just never see them speak up. You never see them like do anything. Like the whole action is do nothing that is the action do nothing is the action which is very strange like if you have a bunch of problems like you would have to start to take at like literal steps to like solve the problems you can't just like ignore the problems and believe that like they're just gonna magically go away because they won't like that's not a thing like you'd ha you have to work toward solving the problems like you have to um Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I just wanted to call out that that happened. And um, I wonder, like, if you were a part of that group and you saw that happen, what would you do? The pe like, Let's see what the people in the group actually do or say, if they say anything about it at all. Do they take any accountability for what happened? Like, that's another reason why we have to be very serious here. Like, to all the adults, black people, the parents, right, the quote unquote parents, the role models, the influencers, all these YouTubers that you guys are seeing, like, I'm gonna call out Nagad specifically on this one. Like, she's a Somali woman, right? Like, so I'm not saying that all Somali women in all of the world behave like this, but okay, we have like one example here where this did happen. And this was at a group that was supposed to be like, uh, you know, representative of this group. Like, here is one representative of this group. Now, what do the other members have to say about it? Do they say anything at all? Because to me, they probably, I am assuming right now that they don't care and they won't say anything about it. Because like, that's just, I don't know why, for some reason, like no one is interested in actually solving the problems that affect people, especially black women in the black community. And it's really weird. It's really weird. Like some, the problems will have to be solved, but so far it seems like it's the government who's been stepping in to like solve these problems but i think uh there's just this very false idea that the problems won't be solved and it's like they will they will definitely be solved like planned parenthood has solved a pretty large uh, portion of the problems 
but like I think you know to any to any black women who are following this channel I just really want you to know that like um if you want to live in an uncivilized society you are going to have to separate yourself from the masses because most of the black women that you see out here the adult ones the old ones most people don't look at them as humans because like they endure this like pain and suffering at levels that are like incomprehensible to other groups they're not even seen as women like they're seen as like i don't know like some subhuman group so that's why it's very weird for like all of a sudden all these like little black girls get on the internet and they think that like their hyper femininity channels are going to change the, the like dehumanization that's been happening in this group by mostly it's been perpetuated by black men like black men have created a, a, a whole economy lyrics and words and music videos and songs and propaganda that is gonna last for like hundreds of years to come that basically says every single day like black women are nothing we hate black women black women are ugly black women are trash black women are worthless we hate black women blah blah like just every song every single video and no like so many black women have been so traumatized so hurt so afraid so wordless so impoverished so uneducated that they could never say anything about it and the funny thing is like these little tiktok girls you know they're all here with the little influencers they're do that i i want little black girls to grow up to be free but i also want them to understand that they just have such a huge responsibility and it is i think it's like their responsibility to be angry at the generation that that has come before them that was silent they didn't say anything they just dealt with the maltreatment they dealt with the misogyny they dealt with the rape they dealt with all of the things and never said anything there's a few who said something and kind of made it better but for the most part nobody said anything nobody tried to help Nobody tried to make it better, and they called us all a community, and they said we're all a part of that group. I'm not a part of that group. I'm not. You can be. If you want to be a part of the, like, dehumanized, oppressed group that everyone sees as, like, monkeys and ugly and stuff, then that's you. You can do that. Like, no, I'm not going to stop you. You bite the bullet if you so choose, but I'm just saying I'm not going to do that. I don't want to. I don't all I just don't have I wasn't built that way I don't have the capacity to do that and if you do um that's good that's good that's on you that's great you should bite the bullet and you know do what everyone else did and lead to the same outcome that they have and ask those people like I it's like man I like look out, out into the world and I see some it's not all black women it's not all but it is like a very large amount who have not lived lives that like I would find interesting, that I would find meaningful, that I would want to live. Like I would actually, the reason I haven't followed so many people is because like I wouldn't want to be like them. Seriously, like I wouldn't want to live that way. I just wouldn't. When I see some of the stories, they make me upset. They make me like disgusted. To me, the stories sound pathetic and I don't want my life to be like that.